back with another episode. I'm going to show you a few images and I want to see if you can guess what we're going to be doing in this video. Any ideas yet? Well, if you guessed a self-sustaining watering system, aka a rain barrel, that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to talk to you about the details. Glad you're with us and hopefully we'll all learn something together today. So you might be asking, why in the world are you doing a rain barrel self-sustaining water system at your house? I mean, what would the purpose of that be? Well, obviously, you want to be able to have your own water in case of, you know, your, your pump goes out on your well, or you know, if you're living in the city, a lot of people do that where they're catching rain water and uh, some places outlaw that, ironically, which I just find it absolutely absurd. Um, but what we're going to do is we're using it for the animals that we have here uh, at the house. And right now we only have two rabbits. And those two rabbits we're, of course, using uh, to breed for meat. So there's our boy bunny. I think the kids named him Bob or Bobby. And then our female who's hanging out back there. I basically call her Deadbeat Mom. I know that's a terrible name, but um, she killed her first six babies. And they say that's pretty common with the first the first litter, but still, I don't think she's a very good mom. So maybe I shouldn't call her that, but um, BBM is what I call it. Anyway, so first thing that we're going to do is, you know, when you're attaching your um, your gutters and everything, is deciding how long that you need them to be. Um, they're not expensive, ironically. I think it's only ten dollars for that ten foot piece. Um, but I just got the one piece that I'm going to attach here on the side of this um, work shed. And um, instead of you know, redoing a lot of stuff, I mean, lumber is like really expensive right now. So instead of me going out and buying a lot of lumber, I'm just, I'm gonna use these pressure treated one by ones and um, we're just gonna attach them on the side and then I'm just gonna screw in the gutters to the, the one bys so that that way we can have something to attach them to. They do make hooks, I didn't pick any up, but I don't think it's gonna need to support a ton of weight just because the water's, whenever it does collect it, it's gonna be running down into the downspout. So I'm just gonna show you step by step after I do this. So something else I wanna mention, one of the main reasons that I really wanna do this is because at our house, which is way over there, on the back side underneath the porch, is the only water faucet that we have on the entire two acres. So, um, you know, I don't have the time or money right now to install the, um, you know, the PVC pipe and everything to get out here. Um, I've done that a lot in my life. I've done it many, many times on many different properties, and I used to do it for a living. But I tell you what, it's um, just don't have that kind of time right now and definitely don't have the money. So this is a much more affordable option. And, of course, this barrel, just show you a few things about it, too. It's really cool because this is actually uh, a food-grade barrel, which, of course, is... Uh, it doesn't have the dangerous, you know, nasty chemicals and everything. It's actually extremely durable. Um, you've got the uh, faucet that's already installed down here on the bottom, the three-quarter inch faucet, the spigot, as we call it in South Georgia. And then, of course, you've got caps here, but they also, when you take them off, they can actually hook. You can hook a water hose to it, or you can hook it to additional barrels, which I've seen a lot of people do. And uh, easy grip for handling, for moving. So really cool there. And then you also have the mesh screen on the top, which I think is really neat. So you've already got the filtration built into it. So we'll wash that out really good. See the inside of it there? It needs to be rinsed out. We'll rinse that out really good. And... Um, like the fact that you can go ahead and start filtering it out right from the beginning. But we'll put our downspout. It'll feed right into that. It'll pour water onto the screen. And of course, if we wanted to add gravel or charcoal or sand, I mean, I did buy sand, but I didn't buy it for that purpose. Um, we could even go, you know, if we were using this for drinking water, um, we could do the same thing. And of course, you know, at some point we may decide to do that. I may decide to convert it. Um, to just, you know, filtering the, the water as soon as it receives it. Um, we could always boil the water if we needed to, you know. All right, so all I've done so far, I've just added these little one buys. They don't even go all the way across. But all I need is for them to have enough support to where they'll connect from one end to the other. 
and to be able to allow the water to, to kind of go down. So I did not do it like straight across because I was concerned about water getting caught up in it and possibly leaves falling and then it just stinking and smelling terrible. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, I've still got to put a couple more screws on it. I didn't want it to be perfectly level. I wanted it to have a little bit of a slant. And as you see, there's a little bit of space that goes down there because, you know, this is not a something I'm doing necessarily for looks. I'm putting it here on the back side of the property so that it's not noticeable, but I also want it to be completely functional so that it'll feed down into the barrel. I'll get as much water as possible and there'll be less leaf matter and there'll be less waste that gets in there because I want to make sure that it stays as clean as possible. But what we'll do, I got me cameraman. First cameraman ever, I think. Rich man. So. doing here on the very end let me get up here where I can actually show you if I don't fall and break my neck fall in my compost pile what a way to go huh but uh, anyways but I'm gonna wind up right here Ooh, compost but um see this hooks here I've got it hooked on the outside what I'm gonna do is run screws into the back of this one by that I put up and then that way the downspout everything's angled down this is actually feeding into this instead of this backing up if this was on top. Here. Sorry, kind of got hooked on that stuff here. But um, see it's got a little chip out of the side. I'm just not gonna go buy extra materials if I have stuff. But got these 16 inch square pieces. And I've got a couple of pieces of cinder block that I took from my compost pile. I'm gonna set the compost barrel. It's actually gonna go on top of that. And uh, I'll put the link in description for the uh, compost barrel idea that I got this from on YouTube. Great video. He spent a lot more money. He was a lot more careful than me all around. His project was better. So if you want to, you want to see how to do it right and see how to do it the best way, just go and follow that description. I'm just showing you the poor man's water barrel system. And then this way, if the downspout doesn't fall off, because I still don't really have it 100% secure. Really what it's going to do, it's going to feed down into this. And that's going to be your, that's going to be the drainage system there. So I'm going to get a little bit more security there on that end. Just get a little bit tighter. Tighten up a couple of spots. Probably pull that up with a little piece of half inch wiring. And then that way it'll kind of stay a little bit more secure. And again, part of the reason that you put it on these blocks is because you want to have better access to it so when you're down here you know instead of being way down at the bottom you're going to be able to 
you know, fill up your barrels, pot and soil, you know, your um, flowering cans and whatever else that you're going to use. Um, it also, too, the further down that your spigot is, you're also going to get a lot better water pressure. Because if you think about it, you know, gravity, everything's feeding it, everything is sinking downward uh, with pressure. That pressure is going to push it downward, which means that all your water is going to come out a lot better pressure than if you had it up here near the top. So just let basic physics do the work. And that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, we'll keep you posted on how it all works out. It's a dream come true as far as being able to do this. Probably put something right here, probably put a hook or something so that whenever I'm emptying that off, I can just hook it there and then just keep going like, <laughs> like everything's fine. So we'll do a trial run in a little bit and we'll see how it works. Put on those little brackets. I love flimsy metal. It has come in handy so many times doing different projects. If I ever feel the need, I'll spray paint it brown if I want to match that bad. Uh, we're about to test it out. Alright Ridge man, well, I appreciate your help. You did a good job. Appreciate the camera work. You the man.